good morning everybody from the Philippines. So um, I'm getting ready to go on a little trip here to uh, Alungapo to visit some friends who came from Germany, a German-Filipino couple. So it's about a four hour trek. I'm going by myself. That'd be the farthest I've traveled here alone. So packing up this morning, it's about 6.20, getting ready to take off. Like I said, the estimated travel time is like four hours, 15 minutes or whatever, but in the Philippines, that depends on traffic. So here we go. I'll try to do a little video of interesting things along the way. Maybe not, but I'll see. And so they got a place, they got a resort on the beach. So I'm gonna be on the beach, on the ocean. I'm excited. So come along on this journey. Hey everybody, just checking in again. I've been driving for a little more than an hour, about almost two. Traveling in the Philippines is a little slow, so I just made it past Clark. Still got a ways to go. But making up some time now that I'm on the bumpy roads, now that I'm on the highway, so. to Mr. Google Map. Still have over three hours to go, but I'm getting there, making up a lot of lost time. Took a while to get to the highway to get going. So, getting there, so I'll check back in later. Ta-ta. This video ain't too shaky. This is a rough road. But it looks like you are driving up over the mountains. But a very rough road. You have back problems, Philippines anyway. <laughs> Not driving down the road. It kind of feels like every concrete slab is kind of bold. So it's like riding over, over a waves, but just bumpy. Not flat. The truck kind of dips up and down. But that's enough sh shaky video for now. But, but uh, anyway, I just passed Subic and headed out into the country, I guess. So. We'll stop this because this video is just going to be extremely shaky. I have to really try to stabilize it. Can't even stabilize myself. <laughs> Bye. Let's take a break. Getting a little video of the towns I'm driving through here. They're very nice. A lot different than in Probably not too long. Very nicely set up. Not so overly crowded. Come on, dude. Right. This guy doing 21 Ks. <clears throat> So anyway, I'm just complaining about the driving because the guy in front of me, he's he's like sightseeing, I think. Doing about 20 kilometers. 
miles an hour. And me, I'm trying to get someplace. <clears throat> Six kilometers to go, so this is the home stretch. Last 20 kilometers were, were the roughest because you can only drive about 20 kilometers an hour, and sometimes less than that. That was bad. Distance wise, it's not that far. It's just extreme traffic.
Google should be talking to me soon. Not yet. Still got a little ways to go. But I know I, I guess I'm close to the town. Video camera and look at the road. Take the next left onto Barangay Low Clock. There we are. Barangay Low Clock. It's right there. In 600 meters, turn left. Right, so we are. Must be here at the resort.
Well, these are some tiny roads. Take the second left. How did they find this place? There's only one left. and driving back and forth another year. Sure. Hopefully, there's another way you can go out. Hopefully. Because that ain't cool. In two hundred meters, turn left.
You have arrived. Wow. Well, let me call. We made it. 